everybody out there, this is Francesco Cedita. And hi guys, this is Prescott Serdarian. And I'm coming at you live from my apartment in New York City. This is my little home office that I'm in. And Prescott, where are you? Well, I actually, I am a high school film teacher and I live and work at a boarding school. So I am coming to you from my classroom right now. We're excited to talk to you about our brand new graphic novel called The Pathfinder Society, The Mystery of the Moon Tower, illustrated by the incredible Steve Homaker. Now, this is a story that Francesco and I have been working on for a very long time. So I can tell you how excited we are today to be with you, to be talking about the story, and to be able to hold the book in our hands. What? Oh my goodness. So this is the first book in a series, and we just thought we would take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about this first book, about some of our characters, and a little bit about the setting for our entire story. Yeah, because the Pathfinder Society is about a whole lot of things, right? So it's about a struggling little town named Windrose. It's about a creepy old castle, and it's about a fascinating explorer named Henry Merriweather. Also, the town has very weird weather, and it also suffers from ground farts. Ground farts, people. But it's also the story of five really unlikely friends who come together on the first day of camp to do the camp's annual treasure hunt. So the five characters, not friends yet in the beginning, are Kyle, Vic, Henry, Beth, and Nate. Now, these future friends are as different in the beginning as you could imagine, but through this treasure hunt and through other things, they start working together and they realize that they actually have so much more in common than they ever thought. Totally, because they realize quickly that it becomes about teamwork to figure things out and having faith in themselves and then in one another, even though they're also new to one another. You know, and so I think today we also really wanted to talk to you about the second and third chapters, because that's when they really start to become friends and start to get to know one another. And when they really embark on the treasure hunt and discover the creepy Merryweather Castle. So as we talk, we'll show some footage, and this is footage of the actual place that inspired the Merryweather Castle. Prescott can talk a little bit about this because this is uh, in the town where he grew up. Yeah, so I grew up near Doylestown, Pennsylvania. And Doylestown is very much like many other towns, probably like your own. The main difference is that this town has an enormous concrete museum that is shaped like a European castle. And this was made by this real life person named Henry Mercer. He was part explorer himself, he was an artist. He would make these amazing tiles, which I'll talk about in a second. So Francesco and I, we would be working together and we would visit this place. And it was so amazing just to walk around this magical place and seeing these tiles, which were these small square ceramic, they look like picture frames. And each one was handmade and would tell these amazing, mysterious, incredible stories. Yeah, and one of the other things that we were really, really moved by when we were doing our tours of the castle were Mercer had a dog named Rollo and his little paw prints are all over the castle in the cement. So obviously that dog traveled everywhere with Mercer and even walked through wet cement with him. And there's a dog in our book named Asher and the inspiration for Asher comes from Scott's dog named Asher as well. Yeah, there he is. So now that you've seen our inspiration, um, we want to show you a little bit how we made it part of the Pathfinder's world um, with the help, of course, of Steve, our illustrator, who did such an awesome job showing this new world. So we're showing you now a section of the story where our five Pathfinders are starting this townwide treasure hunt as part of their first camp experience. At this point, they don't know each other very well, and they're definitely questioning the validity of this camp activity. Yeah, and the treasure hunt actually sends them to the Merryweather Castle. And of course, right when they get there, it starts to rain, because of course it has to rain when there's a creepy castle around. And weird weather. And weird weather. And so this is where they unknowingly, they get their first real clue from Henry Merriweather. And once they figure this clue out, the drawbridge from the castle comes down and they make a run for it to get out of the rain. And this is where things get really interesting. So it's ridiculous rain, almost sideways. They don't know what to do. So they go inside this abandoned, they think, castle. And they start walking through these creepy hallways. There's these tiled rooms all over the place. And they hear a voice and they meet this mysterious character. Mildred. 
So we'll let you figure out who Mildred is as you read the book because she has an important part in the story. But when they meet her, she actually offers to take them on a tour of the castle and she takes them on this pretty elaborate tour. And during the tour, they see all the tiles and everything, but they also see something really important and it's the keyboard. So the keyboard has every key to every room in the castle on it. And automatically the kids are really, really interested in that because they realize just how many rooms there are in this place. So she leaves them alone for a little while to explore the castle. And, you know, what do you think that leads to? Well, what would you or any of us do if you were left alone in a big, crazy concrete castle? Play hide and seek, of course, right? Of course. So that's exactly what they do. And they end up separating and of course, this character, his name is Harry. He, he's, think of him like a playful Harry Houdini as a kid kind of character. So he is it. And all the other characters go out and they hide in all these crazy, interesting places. And they're having a really fun time exploring this place. Harry's walking around looking for everyone, but he finds himself back at the keyboard and something draws his attention and he pulls a key out and a small piece of paper falls almost as if it was left there on purpose. He opens it up and he sees the Latin words. Plus Ultra. So they eventually find out, and you will too, that it's a Latin phrase that translates to more beyond. And this motto is certainly the motto of the series, of Henry Merriweather, of the camp, and of the castle, of course. And this one clue that Harry finds in the beginning of this book leads to a secret room. And that's where the adventure like really begins. So that's where we're going to leave it for now. But we are so excited for you to continue to read, to find out what is more beyond, and to really enjoy the Pathfinder series. I know that Francesco and I have had the best time creating this for you, and we really can't wait for you to read it. Yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a good read, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Hello, Pathfinders. Hi, everybody. We are Prescott and Francesco. We are the authors of the Pathfinder Society. First book is out now, The Mystery of the Moon Tower. Spooky. Okay, so today we have a really, really fun writing challenge for you. Our story takes place in a seemingly ordinary small town called Windrose. We wanted to make it a place where magical and unexpected things happen, like from wild weather to the enchanted Merryweather Castle. Yeah, so that was one of the best parts of writing the story. We made this ordinary town, Winrose. We really wanted to make it something extraordinary. On the surface, it looked completely familiar and normal, but underneath, there was magic. And that's the exciting thing about writing. It's like, you can do anything you want and you can steer your ship in any direction at all. Yeah, so today, for a fun writing exercise, we want you to think about a place in your town. It could be somewhere completely familiar to you Anywhere from your house, your room, your backyard, your school, your library, even a big old castle in your town. Yeah, anywhere at all. Anywhere. Now, we want you to write about it. We want you to describe it to us as if we're there. We want you to tell us what it looks like, what it sounds like, even what it smells like. And think of that familiar place, but add some magic to it. What would it be like if it were enchanted somehow? if there were ghosts in it, or maybe the rooms change color without anyone knowing when it will happen. Does music start playing randomly, even like when there's a full moon? Or like does a family of like cute little mice like live in, in one of the walls and they cook and bake and have little family dinner parties? <laughs> or it could be maybe like a story that I wrote when I was 10, do the basketball courts come alive when no one's there and they play each other when no one's watching? Or maybe there's like secret codes throughout the whole house, like in the Merryweather Castle. Ah, I like that one. I think we already did that one. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, so that is it from us. We want you to take this and write a really cool story. All right, okay. it's Francesco and Prescott signing off. Right. Have fun, keep writing, check out the Pathfinders. Bye. Bye. Hello, I'm Steve Hamaker, the illustrator of the Pathfinder Society the mystery of the moon tower. And I'm gonna show you what I do to help bring the script that Francesco and Scott give me to life as a Pathfinder Society graphic novel. I'll show you how I draw one of the characters. First, I start with simple shapes like circles and ovals for the head, eyes, and chin. I draw very rough sketches for each page. Nate's hair is easy. I just make a lot of upside down W's. 
His glasses are rectangles, and I usually draw those last. That's how I draw Nate. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all keep drawing. The Pathfinder Society, The Mystery of the Moon Tower is on sale now. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I did making it.